Hello everybody, my name is Nick. I am a full-time college student and a full-time-ish reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And if you've watched my videos before, uh, this is the first time you've seen me without a hat on because I got a haircut because that quarantine hair was really not a good look. But now I have short hair. I've had long hair since I was in sixth grade. So this is weird. And I keep reaching for my hair that's not there. But I really like it. I really like my new hairstyle. Uh, I know I've been MIA for the last few weeks. For those of you who don't know me, I live in Minneapolis, which has been the center of all of the, you know, national attention with the tragic death of George Floyd and then all of the resulting protests and riots and whatever. And so I've taken these few weeks to kind of just have my grieving. I participated in a few of the peaceful protests and it's really inspiring to see some of the change that's coming out of that. So that's where I've been for the last few weeks. But I am back and since things have started to open up, I held off for a while, but I did do my first sourcing trip since quarantine. And so that is what I am going to show you guys today. I have a little haul of all of the stuff that I bought, of all of the stuff that I bought at a Goodwill and one uh, buy sell trade store and I will tell you that and I'll try to tell you cost of goods but some of the tickets I removed or whatever so we'll get there when we get there but first I'm sorry about my dog barking in the background first off um this is for me I am literally obsessed I saw it in the store and I was like I wonder if that'll fit me and it does it is this amazing double-breasted plaid wool vintage blazer I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. Um, I literally put it on in Goodwill and then did not take it off, but it is so cute. Up next, I this is one of two things I bought at the consignment store. They are these Tory Birch, uh, these have a name and I can't remember. They are these Logo Crest flats. They are a size, let me see. It'll be on the shoe somewhere, eight. Um, but they are in literally brand new condition, never worn. I think I paid 25 for these. My next thing are these magical vintage pants. I love selling modern vintage. Wow, that's like an oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp. But modern vintage as in like modern style vintage pieces. And so these are these amazing pleated, like lavender colored straight leg high-waisted pants. They are dress brand, but the brand doesn't really matter. These are probably from the late 80s or 90s. They are marked a six, but the rule of thumb is to go down two full sizes for vintage. And so these would be like a modern size two. Of course, I will post the measurements. I would think they'd fit a four or two, but they are so cute. And I paid $5.99 minus 20%. So like four something for these. All of this is from regular Goodwill. I am usually a bin shopper, but I haven't been brave enough to go back to the bins yet. This next thing is an adorable, like, boutique dress. It has this graphic, like, floral print, and it has ties on the sleeves, and the belt, um, I think it's about, it's not mini, but definitely, like, knee length. Uh, really cute, new with tags. I paid $6 for it. This is a designer, but it's not a very popular designer. It doesn't resell for a lot, but this particular piece is new with tags and really cute, like, career wear piece. It is a drop waist tweed dress. The brand is W by Worth. Worth is really expensive. This is a little bit cheaper line, but this dress still retails for, like, $350. I paid $7 for it at Goodwill. Here's the ticket. I'm sorry it is swinging. I don't have a hand, but really cute. I think I could probably get like 65 or $70 for it. So that was a good find. This next piece is some good old bread and butter. It is a torrid like blouse, torrid size zero, which is like a 16. Um, it's just like a peplumy little plaid button down. Okay, this might be controversial that I bought these, but I do really well with J. Crew jeans. Um, I do just as well with J. Crew jeans as I do with Madewell jeans, um, especially in good styles. Everything revolves around the style and the date. This is a pair of high-waisted, just toothpick skinny jeans. They are really cute. I always check the date. If you don't know, Madewell and J. Crew both put the dates in their jeans. 
um, underneath the care tag. So this particular pair was from spring of 2018. So they are two years old. I usually stay, as long as their jeans are in the last three years, I always pick them up. Um, and these are really nice. They don't, they're stretched in them, but they still have like stiffness to them, which means they weren't worn that much. So I think I get about 40 bucks for these. This is the other thing I bought at a consignment store. Many of you probably already know what it is, but it is this stunning Johnny Was embroidered tunic vest. It doesn't have a size, but literally it's a vest. So it could probably fit a small, medium or large. There is the Johnny Was tag. If you don't know Johnny Was, it's a very expensive Bohemian brand. This feels like a linen blend. Let me look. Yep, it's 100% linen. Perfect for the summer. I love this piece and it was 10 whole dollars. Next is another adorable dress. Um, this is another J. Crew piece, but it's very current. It is this belted shirt dress. You probably can't see it very good, but it has a belt at the waist. It is new with tags, um, size 10. It doesn't have a price on it. It looks like it was a um, online item, but I love this dress. It'd be so cute to wear to work. It's like midi length. This is by the brand Etc, which is actually quite expensive. Um, it's sold at like Nordstrom and Neiman's. Here's what the tag looks like. I pick up the newer pieces from this brand because I think they're really cute and trendy. This is like a balloon sleeve chiffon accordion pleat floral blouse. So cute. Uh, very trendy cut. This is an Athleta, just athletic short sleeve, stretchy. It's kind of like Athleta's version of the Lululemon Swiftly Tech. Here's the logo. I don't usually pick up Athleta. It's not my favorite thing, unless it's at the bins. I always get it at the bins, but this was $4.99 minus 20%, so like $4. And it, is, again, is from spring 2018. Athleta is another one that puts the date. It's right there, spring 2018. So this is two years old, so really current. Well, not really current, but current enough. Uh, to be relevant. I'll get like $20, $25 for that. This is an Onzi um, sports bra. Onzi is a Nordstrom athletic brand that people really like. It has a mesh back. It is camo print. Camo is still having a moment, so I always go out of my way to pick up camo print stuff. It is a size small medium. This is what the Onzi tag looks like. Super cute. Probably again $20-ish. 20, 20 these are Anthropology by Anthropology plaid cropped skinny pants. Again, this is like the stretchy work pant material. People really like these. Not a big money maker, but they'll sell size four. These are really current. Um, they were $4.99 minus 20%, so like $4. This was a good find. I mean, an okay find. The brand's kind of, you know, trash. If you don't know any of the controversial things that these two people have said in the past, look it up. But it is a Dolce & Gabbana um, pencil skirt. It's just a khaki pencil skirt moment. It is a Italian size 42, which I believe to be like a US 8 or something along the lines. 6 or 8, I think. Um, I paid $7 for it. This is probably like a $400 skirt, so. Thread up. Even though, side note. I saw some interesting information about Thread Up Lux today that they might discontinue the program. I've sold a lot on Thread Up Lux, and so that's a little concerning to me, and I will be very sad if they end the program. But nonetheless, I'll probably still send that to Thread Up because they have a way of selling certain designer things that I could never sell in a million years myself for buttloads of money. But that's besides the point. Moving on, this is a really cute. I don't really like Lily Pulitzer, but some of the solid color stuff I do. I just don't like the prints. This is a like dress. It's fully lined and it's lace overlay, and it's like a mint. Sea, almost like a seafoam green color. Um, it is a size small, Lily Pulitzer, cap sleeve. This would be perfect for dressing up this summer. Love. Two more things, folks. This is Ann Taylor. I bought this because I thought it was so pretty for some sort of special occasion this summer. It is a like, coral and red lace overlay sh uh, sheath dress. You won't be able to see the size because somebody wrote over it with a marker, but it is a size four. This is very current Ann Taylor. And Ann Taylor's expensive, man. This probably retail for $150. That's one of the brands that lots of people don't like picking up that I sell all the time. You know, not for tons of money, but 
it sells. I mean, this dress I'll probably list for $65 and go from there. I mean, I'll probably sell it between $45 and $50. But if you want it, I'll give you a good deal. And last but not least is this really cute, just distressed black sweater. The brand is called Wildflower. I don't think it's anything special, but it is very cute. Um, I bought this just because it was of the style, and I think it was $2.99 or something like that. So super cheap. Um, and I'll be able to sell it for like $25, bucks, I think, just based on the style. Um, probably not until the fall, but, you know, if you got space. But yeah, that is what I got today. Now, I did get a few more things I brought my sister with because she was tired of being stuck in her house. She got some really cute stuff, like this iconic pantsuit that's like gingham with like flowers on it. And so good for her. But I hope you guys like this haul. I'll try to do more consistent videos going forward. I just needed a little mental break for my sake and the sake of the people around me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like this content, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.